hello guys please welcome now there is one question that i mostly get asked that is can your whatsapp account be hacked and to some extent i can say yes your whatsapp account can be compromised and i will be breaking it down to three separate methods that people use to get into your whatsapp account and what you need to do in order to stay protected on your whatsapp account so the very first silly method that i see a lot of people use to hack into your whatsapp account or get into your whatsapp account is trying to activate whatsapp on their device with your whatsapp number what it means is that even if you are enjoying whatsapp somebody is trying to activate whatsapp using your phone number mostly this option is used by hackers when they already get access to a whatsapp account of your friends therefore they will start to send you a message as if it is your friend that is sending you a message they will send you links that you need to enter in order to take control over your whatsapp account and subsequently extort money and other valuables from your friends who believe you are the one when they send them a message using your phone number on whatsapp you will have no voice at that particular moment to reach out to those friends that your whatsapp account has been compromised and any attempt to log back into your account will make whatsapp find you very suspicious and will ban your phone number from signing up on whatsapp for a couple of hours so in order to prevent this first method what you need to do is go on to whatsapp and once you've come on to whatsapp you have to go on to settings once you've gone on to settings go ahead and tap onto account you are going to tap on two-step verification make sure you enable these options so that anyone trying to have access to your whatsapp account will require a pin that will be sent to your phone number you will then have to share this particular pin with those people before they can actually be able to hack into your account even if they use any link beyond measures now the second method that is commonly used to have control over someone's account is using spy apps now these apps will be installed onto your phone without your knowledge the apps will have control over other apps on your phone including the whatsapp account also they will somehow have access to your whatsapp account but this will last for just a couple of hours or minutes and they will need to pay in order to have a continuous access to your whatsapp account using this particular spare apps that they install onto your phone without your knowledge you can look through your phones to see if there are any spare apps available on your device in order to get it uninstalled from your device very quickly now the third and final method that people use these days is to abuse the whatsapp web option introduced by whatsapp now this option is available on whatsapp for you to link your whatsapp account to other devices so your whatsapp account can be linked onto a computer or onto another device and again this particular option introduced by whatsapp to help you stay connected 24 7 onto your whatsapp account is being compromised by a lot of people as they tend to use this option by linking your whatsapp account to their device in order to see activities you are performing in your whatsapp account you will have no clue but this is definitely how it will look like on their device if they have successfully linked your whatsapp account onto their device as you can see everything here is the same and they will use the opportunity to read your private messages illegally the last method can be solved in two separate ways the first thing you can do is to go ahead and tap onto settings now you are going onto account tapping onto privacy you have to scroll all the way down onto screen lock open it up and right here you can lock your whatsapp account using a face id or a touch id now i'm not sure yet if this is available on android devices but you can try it out also this is basically what happens if you want to log back into your whatsapp account you will need the face id requirement or your touch id in order to log back into your whatsapp account the final thing you can also do in order to regain access to your whatsapp account is to go ahead and tap onto linked devices right here if your whatsapp account has been linked onto another device you will see this option beneath here you will be shown the time and date it has been linked also go ahead and tap on it and right here if you tap onto logout automatically you are going to be logged out of devices that you have been logged into just like it has been seen or it is going on currently so basically these are the three best methods people try to use to get access to your whatsapp account and these are things you also need to do in order to have total control over your whatsapp account thank you and please subscribe for more lessons like this in the coming days